Hey guys, uh, Paul's here with uh, our new team member from Rare Candy, Giorgio Kanga. Um, we have been working very hard on the new website and the new marketplace. Um, and we just wanted to share with you a new idea we've been working on. Not really sure if this has been done before. I'm sure somebody has worked on it, but it's pretty new for us and for the industry in general. Um, essentially, it's an NFT media player um, that we want to create to make it a bit easier once you're on the new marketplace to be able to listen to songs without having to go through each NFT uh, separately. So I'm here with George and we're just going to show you quickly a small preview of what that will look like. It may change, most likely it will change. Um, many changes have been made, even up until yesterday we've been changing things. So George, if you just want to show us, essentially this is the landing page. Um, the way that we have it now, uh, will be kind of like a top-down look. So what we have here is, yep, there we go. Uh, can you show me that again, George? Sweet. So we're trying to make it as minimal as possible and an, as inconspicuous as possible so it doesn't get in the way. Um, this would be the minimized view of it. Um, just like a normal, you know, media player, it will have uh, play, pause, next, back, shuffle, uh, loop, repeat, all those kind of things. Um, and then essentially once you click on it, it will expand into something else. It will expand into this, nice. Um, and then maybe you can go onto the other page and show us just the media player by itself, what it will look like. There we go, yeah, so you click on it, it expands. Uh, you can scroll down and see you know, the different songs and uh, that are actually all NFTs. Um, and you know, I know that George, you haven't done, you know, you haven't completed it yet, so we can't really see uh, where this will go. But essentially, what we're trying to do is, once you click on the song, if I'm not mistaken, it will take you to the actual NFT, to the actual NFT, yeah. and there you'll be able to see all the information. You'll be able to purchase it. You'll be able to do many different things. Um, also, the, the dots, uh, where, do, where would that take us, uh, George? Does that give us information on the actual song? Um, yeah, so because we want to make um, the, the music play as simple as possible, right? Especially in this stage, uh, we're not going to have like a full fledged um, music player where you have like a dedicated page for it, right? So, all we want to do is, you know, uh, maybe add this song to a particular loop. Or take it out of the current loop or current queue, right? Mm -hmm. And just very small um, interactions that you can, uh, well, maybe like say play the song next and stuff like that. So if you allow me to show you a little of the um, NFT cards, right? Mm -hmm. Or music NFT cards. Okay, so if you take a look here, you see that there's a play button on this card, right? For instance. Right. And if we say uh let me take this to the screen that we are viewing i'm just gonna restart this so if we hover on this you see that there's a play button here this is assuming that um this is a music nft right and then we play it so we're going to also have an extra button here right that adds this music to the media player loop okay nice right I yeah didn't... so um on on the event that we now have that music here in this loop, I'm um, sorry about <laughs> the overlaying uh, stuff. On the event that we have that music here, then we can use this um, toggle button to maybe take it out of the loop and just minor interactions like that. Right, okay. Like you said in the beginning, right? All of this is not sorted out. We're still um, going to make a lot of changes to it because this is the actual first iteration, right? Yeah. But we are willing to listen to the audience see what they expect of an nft music player is it do you want to be able to like for instance purchase it here well then that may be a little too much but i mean we're open to a lot of possibilities and of course making sure that it is as simple and usable as possible to everyone who uses it yeah yeah and i just want to i just want to point out that what this card that we're looking at on the right is because some people may not have seen previous videos of what we've been working on um this is essentially our way of presenting NFTs on the new marketplace. So, yes, as you can see on the top, you know, it will have the code that represents the NFT. Um, it also has like a category trade. It has the, the floor price. 
um, it basically has a lot of information um, that will you know, enable you to see it without having to click inside and going into the NFT itself, making it easier for you to navigate uh, through the whole website. Yeah. So I think it's very cool that you're going to add a button so you can essentially mm -hmm. add the music straight to the NFT media player. I think that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's um, one of the things we're looking at uh, exploring. I mean, I think that's that's all we that's all we should show for now, George. Um, I don't want to give too much away, and as you know as well, everything is changing day by day. So let's uh, let's stick to that for now. Uh, I hope few people found it enjoyable, and you know, if you have any ideas, if you're watching this and you'd like to see certain things from an NFT media player, um, feel free to drop us a comment or uh, connect with us and let us know what you would like to see in the upcoming update. Um, thank you, George, for your time and thank you everyone for watching this. Uh, peace out. Thank you so much.